Are Neo swap stations going to be obsolete? I hear this argument from time to time, and there is the fear out there that at some point Neo may lose all of their investment in the infrastructure built out on swap stations simply because of the fact that there will be a new battery technology that enables such a fast uh, supercharging that actually battery swapping isn't needed anymore. And maybe you've seen the news today, but actually CATL have just announced a new battery, which is an LFP battery, and it is um, subject to be very good at supercharging. So um, they announced that this battery can charge 400 kilometers in just 10 minutes. So that sounds pretty good, isn't it? And in this video, um, I want to quickly give you a couple of thoughts around this and watch it till the very end because I will also tell you what I think will happen in the case that a new battery technology comes out that enables, let's say, a one minute supercharge. Now, first, this new battery has been announced and we didn't get a lot of um, details uh, details around the new battery. That's, that's normal. Um, you know, these are those announcement type of things where you just pitch uh, something that's new and it's gonna be coming out in 2024. So lots of hype at this stage, but let's just assume this battery is great and it can supercharge at uh, a rate of 400 kilometers per 10 minutes. And that's great news for EVs in general. And I think actually even today, um, supercharging is largely great. Um, whenever I use it, it's mostly sufficient for what I do. Um, however, I just simply don't think that it's going to replace battery swapping for what it is. First of all, one of the major um, advantages of battery swapping is that you can swap in the latest technology, right? So in that case, Neo users could actually, when this battery comes out in 2024, simply swap in this latest CATL battery. And that's great for Neo users because also they want to uh, supercharge fast or have the latest technology, right? And they can simply do that even after buying a car. And you now that's one of the big the, the, the upgradability advantage it's one of the big advantages that will not go away even with the fastest technology um, another thing is here that um, maybe if you have seen my video about what Shin Fei the VP of Neo Power said uh, that the battery is actually not the limiting factor here. It's most of the time that um, actually the charging infrastructure can can be some sort of a, a bottleneck here. So for example, you are the supercharger and there are people also beside you charging. Um, suddenly you don't get the full power out of one of the superchargers and you would need around, I guess, around 350 kilowatt uh, as a supercharging power here in order to charge the uh, the battery that quickly and the question is like how at, at which place and how many times you can actually get that in real life right um, especially if everyone switches to that um, so that's one concern uh, what's the reality of having this technology uh, maybe it's just good for a couple of use cases and then fair enough because another thing of course is that still remains is the question whether or not this battery has also battery degradation and especially if you're just keeping on supercharging at such high speeds then it might be subject to big degradation um, and that's maybe not an issue for the private user when you have to you know um, you just use it from time to time if you're on a road trip then it's possibly fine you your overall battery degradation isn't a, a super huge issue but especially when we think about let's say a robo taxi use case when we say these batteries are going to be used in a scenario where um, it's uh, about ride hailing about taxis and maybe even autonomous driving then suddenly degradation certainly becomes an issue right and here again, battery swapping can charge those batteries at a slower pace. It's much more healthy. And therefore, um, even in case a battery needs to be quickly charged and available, also a battery swap station can use this um, technology and, sa and say charge uh, this battery in-house in the, in the case of the battery swap station um, at the same rate, 400 kilometers per uh, 10 minutes, right? So it would be quickly available again. Another interesting point, which was actually in the presentation of CATL, is that they said, well, you know, even in 
low temperature this battery is charging pretty well i think it was what is it 80 percent in 30 minutes at minus 10 degrees so you see st still in certain types of environments these batteries may not be able to work at their optimum so it may still be a long way to go until battery supercharging actually becomes um yeah competitive with the speed of current battery swapping if at all but let's assume that's the case let's assume we have this super power battery which will supercharge at one minute and there will be no battery degradation at all what would happen to the infrastructure of neo and all of the, the investment that neo has taken so far now here's my guess maybe you've seen my other video about the prospects of virtual power plants and i think once again the fact that neo has um separated the, the battery as a very expensive and degrading asset here from the car itself and also put the ownership out of the hands of the customer and into the hands of the company uh, will be an advantage in this case because neo could simply just keep on using the battery swap stations as those virtual power plants so this wouldn't mean any sunk cost in fact they could even use the empty space of the battery swap stations which are now being used for getting the car inside and um, also stack it up with the racks of the um, the batteries that are housed in there and keep using them to balancing the grid and making money on that um, in this virtual power plant network that would be theoretically um, possible as far as i'm concerned that's just my views let me know in the comments what you think about it but i think this could be the ultimate case here and this again comes also from a uh, a full cycle perspective of what's happening with older batteries or with all of the batteries that are at the end on the balance sheet of the battery asset management company like in the hands kind of in this neo consortium all of that can still be used and monetized over time even in the case that there is the latest battery technology out there which is you know at amazing speeds maybe low cost uh, and maybe worry free who knows if that's coming out these old batteries could still be put to use and a business case might be possible with that that's just my my 10 cents around it why i'm certainly not worried about such new um, battery technology coming out and improving in fact it's to be assumed that this will happen however i don't see this uh, kind of you know making battery swapping obsolete However, that's just a couple of thoughts from my side. Maybe I'm too bullish on that. Let me know your views on that in the comments. And then thanks for watching and see you in my next video.